If you work with more than one group of students, you'll probably want to have more than one level book. So you can create multiple level books by pressing the plus button at the top of the screen there. And I'm going to call this one first grade. Okay. Now to get back to your documents view, you can always swipe to the right. And if you see files all the way down there at the bottom of the main menu, will take you back to your level book files. Now I can always change the names of these level book files by pressing the edit button. And then I can tap on the existing name and type in a new one. I'll call this second grade and press done when you've finished. You can also delete documents when you're in edit mode by pressing the red circle and then you press the delete button. Now be careful, once you press delete the second time that file is permanently gone so make sure that's what you want before you press that final delete button. There's also some settings that you should be aware of. If you press the settings icon at the bottom right hand of the screen you will be taken to the settings screen. Here's where you can change the reading level system. Also you can manage your documents whether you want them stored on the cloud or locally on your device. And so if I turn iCloud off what happens is all the documents that are stored in the cloud get migrated onto this device and deleted from all your other devices. So they're no longer in the cloud anywhere. Now when I go back to my uh, level book files view, I can see that the icon has changed to uh, from, from a cloud icon to a device icon and that lets me know that this file is being stored locally. A couple more settings that you should be aware of. Every time you take a running record, you have the ability to email that out to uh, district administrators, parents, and reading specialists. And that email you can attach a custom header to. A great place to leave an explanation for parents on how to interpret the running record data. Uh, by default, this feature is off and the audio attachment and photos are on. If you don't want to automatically attach audio files and photos to your emails from Levelbook, then you can turn that off. Sometimes that creates a problem uh, with district email systems that have a quota. Uh, audio files and photos are large files. And if you include those, some of your uh, district email filters will catch them and not let those emails through. So if you are if you are in that situation, you'll want to turn those off so that your emails actually get through. And that's all there is to managing your documents. If you forget any of these details, you can always press the help button to get a quick reminder.